Karpathy just dropped an interview that's got everyone in tech talking, and it's not really what the AI hype train wants to hear. AI can write new code crazy fast, but it can't quite handle the code that actually runs companies. You know, the stuff held together by prayer and duct tape. So here's what's happening. Ask an AI tool to build a new app and you'll get one in minutes. The code looks clean enough, it runs, but if you open that same project a few months later and it's like walking into a crime scene where you're both the detective, and the suspect. AI can't walk into a five-year-old code base full of half-finished ideas, quick fixes, and comments like, we'll fix later from 2019. That's like stepping into a library where every book is written in a different language, none of the shelves are labeled, and someone spilled coffee on the card catalog. This is the blind spot people like Simon Wilson are pointing out. He puts it bluntly, most of the work we do as software engineers involves evolving existing systems. And what does that mean? AI can understand syntax, but not the chaos that happens after three developers quit and nobody documented anything. It can generate all the fresh code in the universe, but maintaining the Frankenstein's monster of the real world, good luck. Even Carpathy himself, who coined the term vibe coding, meant it for throwaway weekend projects, not the production systems keeping your companies alive. Critics now warn that today's vibe coded masterpiece becomes tomorrow. Why did we build this? For vibe coders, that's not a wall, but it is a warning. The opportunity isn't just making AI build faster. We also have to teach it structure and history. Name your files clearly, keep projects organized, and document everything like your future self will want to hunt you down. Because they will.